I'm good, Andy, man. How you been? Yeah, man. I've been good, man. Yo, you're live on Hope Gems, man. Welcome. Hope Gems, what up? What up? What up? I'm excited to be here. This is my first uh, international interview. So oh, really? Big right here. <laughs> Oh, that's that's amazing, man. So it's your first one. It is, it is. Ah, man. So why don't you give yourself an introduction, man? Like tell everyone who you are and what you do, man. Yeah, so um, I'm the Raj. Uh, as Andy mentioned, man, I'm signed to an amazing label. RMG is a squad reflection music group. Um, yeah, we just out here, man, trying to use the gifts God gave us to you know, hopefully help people know themselves, know God a little better. Uh, it turned out while we had it, so yeah. So we just cool, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, man. Yeah, man. So you're live in Orlando right now. So what time is it over there? Uh, it's four twenty-five. What time is it over there? It's uh, basically the same minutes, but it's nine. So nine twenty-five, nine twenty-four. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I hope to get out there at some point in time, man, to do a show. I would love to rock a UK set. So. Yeah, yeah, man. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, man. We were talking to uh, Derek last week, and he was saying that it's been five years since RMG was in in the UK. So possibly it's time to to reunite, you know, and come back. Yeah, man. I'm all about it. Yeah, I'm man. all about it. Yeah, and that was that was probably before my time. Um, I signed with the label because you started off as a creative director, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a uh, tweet that Derek had put out. Um, they were looking for a graphic designer. And it was funny because at the time, I wasn't even following Derek on Twitter. Somebody had retweeted it to me. And so I sent him over my portfolio. And this was, you know, this was the time I wasn't too far from being graduated from college. Um, and, you know, I had my bachelor's in digital arts and design. I went to Full Sail University here in the state. Yeah, so I shot my portfolio, and they loved the work. And uh, shortly after... Uh, I say surely, it might have been like a year or some change or something. They found out that I was already doing some stuff here locally. And they was digging the vibes, and they offered your boy the, the record deal. So that's that's the long and short of it. Yeah, man. Well, that's amazing. So that, now you're part of the family. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a family. Yeah, man. So tell us about your music, man, because is it next week, next Friday, you've got a brand new single dropping? Yes, yes, which I'm really excited about. We got a single um, coming out. It's called Way Up, featuring Cassie Levels. And actually, um, I think they're out there right now. <laughs> uh, my buddy, uh, good good buddy, his name is Malik. Uh, him and OB produced the track. They got Cassie Levels, who is a former American Idol finalist. She she jumped on the track and killed the hook on it. One of the producers, his name is Malik. And Cassie Levels, uh, she's a, the American Idol finalist I mentioned, the yeah. former American Idol finalist. They're both out there doing some work. So, so is she is is the American Idol finalist? Is she a rapper? Singer. Singer. All right. So the the tunes I've got for you, I've got some of the older ones uh, from 2016. I've got um, for the people. I've got three tracks from for the people, and then I got the single that I think came out last year as well there's sometimes yes yeah yeah so we're going to be showcasing them i was i was hoping that maybe because this was your first time international that we'd get the drop on getting the exclusive for the single but it didn't work out that way <laughs> <laughs> yeah man if it was one more week man we could have had it too <laughs> yeah man but hopefully as soon as you grab that i'm gonna play it man as soon as i get my hands on it i'll play it man love that's love appreciate it yeah, man. So I tell you what, why don't why don't we get into the first two tracks, man? And you can introduce them, and if you want to tell us about them as well. Um, the first two tracks I picked are F- for the people, which is the name of the project, but also the first track, and the second one is Squad. Okay, yeah, two of my favorites actually from that record. Yeah, so man, for the people, um, yeah, shout out to the homie B Cooper. Uh, me and him did that. Uh, did that record just kind of on a whim too, man. We loved it, and it and it's it's kind of self-explanatory, man. We just wanted to do something something for the people, encourage them, get their hopes up, inspire them, you know, put them to God. So yeah, it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of right in front of you. And squad, man, you know, whatever we do, man, we do it for the squad. We got a good team of people around us. We got a good family and, and fan base, and you know, they love us, love God, and we just trying to rip that as hard as we 
Yeah. Tell us more, man. I want to delve into a bit more so people over here can get an understanding of who Duraj is. Like, before you joined RMG then, when you were, like, doing your other job, was, did you ever do music before that, or was RMG your first proper music that you did? Yeah, RMG was the first official, official kind of situation that I was in. I mean, before RMG, I was doing a lot of, you know, independent local shows, and um, and I I was running with a group, you know, it's almost like a collective of just kind of independent artists, and we all did music underneath, you know, umbrella. And it was just all primarily just you know, ministry based. Like wherever we, wherever we got invited, we would, we would go out, do our thing, and you know, try to share the gospel and encourage people. And that was, and actually, that was back in Virginia. So my journey just kind of looked like, you know, early part of my life. I lived in Maryland, probably up until I was around you know, 16, 15, 16. I moved to Virginia from Maryland with my mom. Uh, my parents were divorced. Dad was in Maryland, mom was in Virginia. Moved with my mom to Virginia. I was there until about 19. And that's when I moved down to Florida uh, for school specifically. And I've been down here since. I moved down here in late 2008. Oh, that's cool, man.